This video is going to be a little bit different. Today, March 23rd, is World Optometry Day. And what kind of channel would this be, Dr. Eye Guy, if I didn't showcase and highlight the profession of optometry? So in this video, I'm going to go over my top three reasons why optometry is amazing. Let's focus in. Hey, howdy everybody, this is Dr. Neil Guyman, Dr. Eye Guy, a channel all about the eyes. And today I have the privilege to talk about a job that I love to do. And so this video is gonna be completely biased because I actually do enjoy what I do. So let's start with number one. Lifestyle and satisfaction. Year after year, optometrists are consistently ranked among the top professions in America. Job satisfaction ranks high, overall happiness ranks high, and age of retirement is higher. Now, this might sound like a bad thing, but eye doctors tend to love what they do and they tend not to want to retire. And so you'll find older and older doctors just loving what they do and they don't want to retire because they love it. One other thing that I found very interesting is that optometry or optometrists have one of the lowest divorce rates in the nation, only ranked under agricultural engineers and media and communication equipment workers. So if you're gonna be an optometrist, there's a good chance that you won't get divorced. Number two is the job outlook and earning potential of being an optometrist. They estimate the job growth of optometrists will be about 10% in the next 10 years. That means that we're going to need more and more eye doctors, more optometrists. And also the different modalities, which areas you can work as an optometrist is definitely something to look into. There's definitely private practice, group practice, subleases or commercial settings. There are hospital settings or co-management settings where you work with ophthalmologists and co-managing surgeries. And you can work in research or education or be on the forefront of cutting edge technology like developing VR systems, virtual reality systems and contacts. So really the options are vast. Now because you can work in different modalities, the earning potential is vast as well. You can earn around the average of 130,000 a year all the way up to 200 to 300,000 a year, probably more depending on which area you wanna work in. I actually love the modality that I work in. I work in a group practice with multiple doctors and multiple offices. And it's been very fulfilling to be able to work together with other doctors, how we can treat our patients the best, which technology we wanna bring into the office, how we wanna treat them. If I have any questions or ideas, I can bounce it off of them. It's been very fulfilling and very rewarding. Speaking of rewarding, that comes to number three, the profession of optometry is very, very rewarding. There's the obvious of treating patients with certain conditions with glasses and contact lenses, and that in itself is rewarding on a day-to-day -day basis. But I do wanna say, I wanna highlight that optometry does not stop here. In fact, I'm willing to say that this is only a small portion of what we can do. And in fact, there is a lot, lot more that we can do that's also very rewarding. One big benefit with optometry is that there are a lot of subspecialties within the field of optometry. One thing that I get a lot of fulfillment from is fitting people into specialty contact lenses. There are patients out there that have different conditions like keratoconus, different shaped corneas, very high nearsightedness or very high astigmatism where normal glasses or normal contacts may not give them their best vision. And there are specialty contact lenses out there where we can learn to fit and custom fit these patients, where we can actually give them the best vision that they've seen in a long time. And to be able to accomplish that is very rewarding and very fulfilling. Another area is eyesight in children. Now, eye doctors tend to be very protective of the eyesight in children, the developing eyesight in children. And that's definitely a subspecialty a lot of people will go into, vision therapy to help them with their binocular vision. Now, 80% of learning is done through the visual system. And so we need to make the visual system the best that it can be. And so a lot of children, they might have a lazy eye or one eye that doesn't work as well, or their eyes aren't teeming very well. And that's something that we can definitely help improve on, helping not only their vision, but improving eyesight and maybe that one eye that tends to be the troublemaker eye, improving binocular vision to help with their depth perception. And so that ends up being very fulfilling to be able to help that child, helps their learning, helps their vision, and is really rewarding. 
Another area is examining the eye health. Now, when someone comes in for an eye exam, they usually think of an eye exam as getting glasses or contact lenses. An eye doctor looks at an eye exam, of course, including this, but a big portion is checking the eye health of that patient. This portion of the eye exam, the health exam, is very, very important to the eye doctors. This is where we can catch any signs of glaucoma, macular degeneration, cataracts. We can see if diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol is in the eye. And that's something very, very important to keep the health of the eyes healthy for the future. And so this portion of the eye exam can be very rewarding as long as we're keeping and staying as that gatekeeper to catch anything that might be showing up in that patient. Now, like any profession, there are definitely challenges that we're facing, legislative challenges. We have challenges with glasses and contact lenses, how they're being sold, sold online, sometimes visual eye exams being done online. And so the face of optometry is changing, but it's also evolving. The scope that I'm allowed to practice at, and optometrists are allowed to practice at, is very, very high, and it's advancing more and more each day. With improved education, improved training, and treatments, and patient care, this profession, optometry, is just getting better and better. Now, on a personal note, I have found in the last few years more enjoyment out of being an optometrist. And part of this is actually from doing YouTube videos like this. I get to research on specific topics, learn how I can educate and talk about that specific topic so people can understand it. But also it helps me be a better doctor. So these videos, you that have been watching these videos have made me a better doctor, better doctor for my patients. And so that's something that I will cherish. And again, it's making me enjoy optometry even more. If you have any questions about optometry, leave it in the comments below. I love being an optometrist. Check out my other videos. I'm Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy. Stay focused.